Right, shalom, I'm Israel. Uh, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle GMS Ru Well. And salutations to Akim around the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth in sincerity and with fire. All right? Um, just want to get into a sit down about, you know, these wicked people of our nation, man, you know, that's joining hand with the so called white man, our enemy, our biblical enemy. First and foremost, the Lord's enemy. The Lord has a. a, a a righteous indignation for these uh, Edomites, the so-called white men, and you got these coons of our nation joining hand in hand with them, man. Uh, as you can see in this first video right here, you know, you got Steve Harvey meeting with this goddamn idiot Donald Trump and, you know, trying to, you know, so-called uh, push the agenda of backing behind him because, you know, the majority of our people didn't vote for um, Donald Trump, even though votes didn't matter and votes never mattered. But you know, our people are just destroyed for lack of knowledge. They just go by, go go behind with anything that the so-called white men say or whatever's the agenda of these of these people right now. Because you know, our people are blind, and you know, then they, these, these uh, Edomites they set up these goddamn uh, puppets and these coons like this guy right here, and uh, also uh, it was uh, Jim Brown who was a uh, running back for the uh, Browns back in like, the sixties, I believe, and you had uh, Ray Lewis who uh, played for the Baltimore Ravens. Back in the uh, early early two thousands, the ninety nines and the two thousands, and then you had Kanye West dumbass up there uh, uh, as a puppet too. And uh, I'm playing a couple of videos um, uh, showing with these uh, idiots, the, the the plans of the the the, the way these they, they they set up these idiots so um, you black Latino and Americans can back their agenda. All right, so I'm gonna start with uh, this coon right here, Steve Harvey. Be yourselves and say what you want to say. Don't worry about me. And I'm going to do the right thing, whatever it is. I may be right. And they may be right. But I said, be yourselves. When you say something, let them do it. I could have said, do this, say that. I don't want that. Look at this cool, man. You got the, the, the bald head. No beard. He looks like Mr. Potato Head, man. He's a, yo, he's the, a coon and a half, man. I want them all to be themselves. Okay, and I'm Everybody you. okay? And you got these coons up in the Trump Tower. The average so-called black Latino Native Americans can't afford to even stay in these towers, man. They can't even afford to stay in these towers. You know what they probably doing there? If it's black Latino Native Americans in this tower, these Trump Tower hotels, they're the, they're the, the, the cleaning people, the cooks, the maids. You know what I'm saying? They're not in here staying up in here. If you're not part of the, like, you know... The uh, entertainment industry, like a baller or a rapper or a movie star, you're not staying up in the Trump Towers, man. You're not staying up in there. Unless you get comp from a hotel, from a casino or whatever, but that's like down in AC or some shit like that. But you, the, the, the Trump Towers on the regular, Black Latino Native Americans on the regular are not staying in the Trump Towers, man. You, we, we, on the regular, we cannot afford to stay up in the Trump Towers, man. And that's another coon, Ben Carson. You already seen what the, the foolishness he was about. He was running with the uh, Republican Party. Not even, not saying that either party even matters, 
but not, not even black. But however, he's another coon set up by the so-called white man to to to, to lead our people astray. And so that's why I'm here, and it was a successful meeting, and uh, he's sincere, really sincere. You, did you hear that? He said that Donald Trump seems really sincere. Now, Donald Trump is known for his racist uh, antics, antics and uh, the things he said. So how does he seem sincere, man? And that's why it says, you know, in the scriptures, um, uh, his words be as smooth as butter, but wars in his heart, man. These, that, 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 that damn guy, Donald Trump, don't give a damn about you black, Latino, Native Americans, man. And you got people like this guy who's up here soothsaying to people, talking about he seems really sincere about the black, black, black community, the African-American community, the Latino community. He's lying, man. These people are set up to lie to our people, man. They're up here trying to soothsay us to, to just go with whatever these are the, the agendas that these people are coming out with, man. Because like the scriptures say, man, they sit at the tables and they, 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 they devise crafty counsel, man. Because that's all they're worried about. Oh, that's all they think about is how to get rid of you black Latino Native Americans, man. That's all they want to do. But then you got this guy and these other people up here trying to fool our people, man. And most of our people, two-thirds of our people, are going to be fooled by these guys, man. Well, all that being said, <laughs> you talk about all the things that they talked about. They, he didn't mention that one thing that Donald Trump said that he's going to do for the black, Latino, Native American community. So he said he talked about golf, talked about mutual friends. He met his daughter. But with all that being said, he said he didn't say anything about what Donald Trump plan or agenda is for the black, Latino, Native American community. So right there, Sherlock, right there shows you that these people are just puppets up here. Because look what happened when uh, Donald Trump and him came out. 
He came up, said a few words, and threw Steve Harvey in the camera. So he was like, here you go. Here's a good nigga out here for y'all to look up to. Let him speak about how we just had a good time hanging out talking about some bullshit. How do you read between being a comedian and being a rapper? Like, what's the difference between being a comedian and a coach? I think Steve Harvey trying to hustle, get the message out to people and everyone, and have that immediate end. Well, you know, there's two things in your life. Your career is what you paid for, and your calling is what you made for. So I have a responsibility to the community that I service to try to be a voice and, 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 and speak on some issues. And so they've heard me, they know where I stood on the election, but uh, nothing's changed, but we got to talk. And I thought he was a great guy, you know, we really had a nice conversation. There has been a lot of cows about his administration, about race, Jeff Sessions, the president of Alabama. Some of the things the president said during the campaign trail about the inner cities. Yeah. Are your doubts fully gone, or are you going to still try to work on that? Well, I mean, you know, look, you don't, you don't kill it in one conversation, but you can't start it in a conversation. So, you know, a lot about what people say, well, it's now less time to see what you do. So, and uh, he said he wanted to do something. I, you, you can't be better than that, you know, and so... We're going to see, I'm, I've been put in contact with uh, Ben Carson, which was great. I spoke with him, and so we're going we're gonna to get some things started. And uh, they have a plan for the inner cities, but they need help. And so that's why they called me. So I'm assuming, and so we'll see what I can do. Do you yeah. support the Sessions nomination? The Sessions nomination, I don't really know anything about it. I mean, I mean you were asking that, uh, you know, he's... I mean, he had a testing hearing this week in which some questions about whether or not he was on the right side of history and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, but is there something you want to sort of... Well, I don't, I don't really like commenting on stuff I don't really understand or know about. You know, I'm not a politician, man, to be honest with you. You just said he's not a politician, so what the fuck are you doing here, Steve? Take your ass back to Family Feud, man. Stay in your lane. You a, you a kiss-ass Uncle Tom. Stay in your lane. You don't need to be up here trying to address black, Latino, and American issues, man. Especially not here, because you don't have any idea, any skills in this. All you know to do is bend over for the so-called white man. That's what you do, man. Stay in your lane. Yeah, I'm hoping that these people can straighten it all out. But I want to get in here and just do my share of I had a good conversation in there, so moving forward. See, yeah, that's all you keep saying. I had a good conversation in there. You had a good conversation about nothing, man, about some bullshit. You didn't bring out no real issues. Oh, no, be good. I appreciate y'all. Thank, Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you guys. All right, so now I'm going to go to um, this uh, one with Kanye West. This nigga got blind hair. You got the contacts in. This nigga's all the way gone, man. Look how excited he looks to go meet this guy. And he comes out a whole different person. Just friends, just friends, and uh, he's a good man. Been doing for a long time. We've been friends for a long Look, they all just keep coming out. To throw these niggas in front of the media. So you black Latin Americans could see see them out there next to him. So he's basically saying, see, I got I got black friends. I'm not a bad guy. Because all he keeps saying about, oh, he's not a bad guy. He's, he's a good guy. He's not a therapist. He's only doing is putting you out there. These niggas out there. So so you so you black Latin Americans see that. Try, try to see that he's not a racist. But yeah, you know his plans, man. Then you got these two coons. Uh, communities. They brought Jim Brown's old ass out. Like he about to pass out in a minute. The intelligence, the reception we got was fantastic. So for those of you who don't know, on the left, uh, John Jim Brown, I think I'm going to talk about what we're trying to do for the urban developments, developments yeah. and job creations are everything. But I think, you know, we're talking about 
really what entrepreneurship really looks like from, from the individual themselves. And I think what the America, America I Can program has done for so many years is put us at that place and now we have 30, 40,000 the former game members and people who's changed their lives. But what we, what we believe, what the Trump administration is, if we can combine the, these two powers of coming together, forget black or white. Black or white is irrelevant. The bottom line is job creation, economic development in these urban neighborhoods to change the whole scheme. Of you hear what he said? Forget black and white, man. And that's the problem with our people. They don't want to realize who their enemy is. You're never supposed to forget black and white. But you know what? It's not a, this is not a black or white thing. This is a Jake versus Esau thing, man. So let's, let's deal with the real thing about it. The, the, the so-called white man, which is uh, biblically known as the Edomites, you so-called black Latino Native Americans who are the true children of Israel, you're not supposed to be walking hand in hand with these devils, man. They are the deceiver, man. They are your adversaries, man. And you know what? Even that coon, Martin Luther King Jr., I'll play that video soon too. Even that coon realized that, you know, that I have a dream speech, he said, was an actual nightmare. Because he knows that you cannot walk hand in hand with this devil, man. We, we cannot join with these devils because at the end of the day, they don't want to see us do well. Your enemy does not want to see you do well. Even on a cardinal tip, if you have an enemy, you don't want to see, you don't want to see him do well. Just like if you have, two, you have a football team. Like, I'm a Jets fan. I do not want to see the, the New England Patriots win the Super Bowl. They are my cardinal, you know, vanity enemy in football. I do not want to see them do well. We can't join force. You can't take the New York Jets and the fucking New England Patriots and make them, a, a, make them to two teams. That, that won't happen. Just like the uh, so-called blacks, black two Native Americans and the, uh, the, 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 the so-called white people. You can't bring them together, man. We're just natural enemies, man. You won't see a gazelle and a lion chilling together. All right? What, uh, what our kids see for the future. Well, I, I think that the Trump campaign Yeah, well, I, I think what, what I do feel is that he's wide open to really helping us change what hasn't been changed. You know, you talk about you go all the way back to $22 trillion since, the Johnson, since President Johnson was around. And you, you think about what that is, of what talking about like, really solving poverty, $22 trillion that we haven't addressed yet. Right? So for us as a black community, for Trump to even step up there, for Mr. President to step up there and say, I'm going to do that, that means everything. And I think that's why me and Mr. Brown is here today. No, I not. The election is over. Right? We don't need to talk about that. We need to talk about going forward. We're not here to talk about the past. We're here to talk about going respect. forward. I've been listened to, and we definitely have a partnership together. And it's an extension of the outreach program that we put in place that you follow so very closely. Mr. Trump made a commitment to improving the conditions of the lives of African Americans in this country, and this is going to continue the work that we started during this campaign with the National Diversity Coalition and now with the mayor I can, Jim Brown, Ray Lewis, and it's a great combination. And the president-elect was very enthusiastic about it and committed to join it. I think he was excited. He's made a commitment. He's given a verbal commitment. This was the first of many meetings. He's given us a verbal commitment, and then we're going to go forward. We're going to strategize. A verbal commitment. There you go. As like, like his like scriptures say, man, his words was as smooth as butter. The war was in his heart. And you know what? These coons out here just believe in the words of these uh these these uh so-called um uh, white people, man. They keep believing in the words that they say, man. You know, back when they, when they first got to this damn country, they had over uh two hundred, I believe, two hundred peace trees with the uh the Native Americans here, and they broke all of them. So how much time? How, how, how much longer are you gonna believe their words, man? It's a verbal, com, com, a verbal uh, commitment. That don't their words don't mean nothing because what this, this says in the scriptures, they 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 came out, they 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 they've been lying since the time they were born, man. Everything they see out their mouth is a lie, man. And now people still eat it up, man. They eat it up. Like 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 how uh. Ezekiel Elliott, you know, when he makes a play or a touchdown, he do that thing with the spoon to his mouth. That's how you black and two Americans take the words of these so-called white people, man. They gotta stop this bullshit, man. And the next step will be implementation. We're, we're not gonna drag our feet talking about this for the next three years. This is something that we're... The vehicle is already in place. The model already works. We're just gonna energize and empower this model. Put the government behind it. Put the Trump administration behind it. Put the African American community behind it. Put the American community behind it, and we're going to get busy. Does it concern you at all that the top of the board, the big board, has been closed? Mr. Trump has been appointed a woman or a minority. 
No, it doesn't concern me. We're talking about this today. We're not going to talk about that. We're just talking about this. This is what we're talking about. Our focus is right here on this American program and implementing this program. Any questions for Ray and for Jeff Brown? Yeah. How do you help work to use your platform, you know, as famous athletes? This is why the scriptures say, come up out of them, my people, man. Because, you know, you stay in this mindset of hoping, you know, America gets better for you black Latino and Americans. You're going to continue to be lost, man. The scripture says that this is not your rest. It's utterly polluted. Why? Because it's, it, you, were, you were put here for a punishment. You were not put here to, 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 to flourish. You were not put here to eventually overcome. Like that damn song you want to sing back in the uh, 50s and 60s. Yeah, you're going to overcome when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai comes and uh, puts, puts his place in his righteous order. That's when you black Latino Americans are going to overcome. But you're not going to overcome, and damn sure not going to overcome with Donald Trump as your president, man. ...to carry this message out there and also hold the administration to their word. I think one of the things that, it's no secret that, you know, if Mr. Brown picks, if Papa Brown picks up a phone call and calls anybody in the nation right now, who's in the world of athletics entertainment, that phone call is easily picked up. And so for myself, the moment he picked it up for me years ago, um, is the reason why I stand beside him right now with every every vision he's put forth now. I'm, he's, he's passed the torch to me to carry that now. And that's what I want to make sure we carry. But to reach anybody, there's nobody we can't reach. And I think that's, that's why we're here, because we can bring a lot of people to work together. And we're not here because of politics. We are here to help the President of the United States help the people that need help. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, know, I, know, I know Dr. Constant personally, and I think he's an excellent choice for this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I, just, well I, just, I just think that's one thing even Mr. President spoke about, is that that's the things he can easily be educated on. Just like people go to class and go to schools and everything, I'm pretty sure Dr. Constant can be caught up on housing very quickly. Yeah, brilliant guy. Any other questions? Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you all. Have a good day. All right, now, this is the uh, video. You know, we had, because uh, you don't have everybody agreeing with this shit, man. You know, you got T.I. He came out with his uh, opinion of it, and he goes in on these niggas, man. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Man, uh, happy King Day to you. Uh, man, I'm just getting up, and I'm seeing all this stuff on TV, man. Look, I'm going to tell you. All you celebrities, black, minority, all of you, man, athletes, man, all of you, look, let me tell you something. There's a strategic plan that people are trying to make you a part of, okay? So do not accept any invitation to have any meeting, no matter how positive you think the outcome may be, without understanding, man, people have a very willing lynch agenda, okay? And... You being there, being seen with them, taking pictures and smiling and being positive, it may seem positive to you, but there's a hidden agenda, man. And you might not know it, but now you have been warned. Do not go in there unless you have a strategy or you with John Lewis or somebody who can represent us. Okay, man, so let me be specific with you, man. I'm explaining to you in great detail. All right, step. All right, he said a hidden agenda. That goes back to the scripture I brought up before. I'm going to bring it out. This is uh, Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And they have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation and that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Right. So their agenda behind all this is the same way they're coming out with this homosexual agenda, man. Cause you know what they get them look look, look how look how Kanye West looked in that video, man. He had the dye here and the contacts and man, he had a he, that's a, that's an effeminate spirit right there, man. You know what I'm saying? You got you, you then you go and get Steve Harvey, who like uh, Ti is gonna say, who really uh, speaks to the the the, the so-called black woman, black and Latino woman of our nation. You know because right now you know as the scripture says, I seen the woman over a man. Cause right now he knows these piece people know whatever the woman is about, the man is gonna follow, man. Uh, I forget, I forget who, what rapper said that. He, he, he says, men are only going to listen to music that women are into, man. You know, it's the same way. So these, uh, these people, these elites know, and they're pushing the agenda out. Okay, let's reach out to certain, certain people first that can get the, the, the minds of the whole nation of Israel. 
which would be what? The woman first, and the man will follow, man. Let's effeminize the men, and let's uh, reach out to the woman directly through these different spokespeople, because that's how we can really control the people, man. And that's what T.I. is basically saying, man. He was like, they have a, they're, they're, they're trying to push this hidden agenda, all right? People over the weekend going back and forth in and out there, man. Officers, if you want to take a picture, then cool, that's what you do. But let me show you exactly where they're coming from, okay? They say how adamantly against him being president of the hip hop community and the young black people was in America. So, what do they do? They get Kanye West to come in. Well, he's the representative. They listen to his music, they buy his shoes, they go see him in concert. Well, sure, they can take a picture with him and he smiles and says he's cool with it. They'll fall right in line. Okay, and also, you know, you got black women, you know, they were against it. Well, who speaks to the black one? Steve Harvey. Let's get him in here. He'll take a picture. He'll smile. He'll say it's cool. They'll fall right in line. Who else? They love football. Let's get Ray Lewis. Let's get Jim Brown. They were the heroes. Surely, if they say they're cool with it. And also, on the, on the week we keep going back and forth, Martin Luther King, homeboy, one of the most prolific civil rights activists of our times. You're going to get Martin Luther King's son or Martin Luther King Dave coming in and meet with you. And y'all got to see this one. Divide the car. Okay, so this may sound a bit more critical. You know what I mean? And not that I want to sit in a judgmental seat or that I'm holier than thou or nothing like that, man. But, I mean, I don't want kids looking at this, man, and think just because I ain't saying nothing that I'm all right with. You know what I mean? Uh, and first of all, let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with sitting down across from anybody, no matter how different your views may be from theirs or, you know, what, how different your backgrounds may be. Uh, as long as they give you the basic human decency of respecting your, your, your values, respecting your ancestors' legacies, and, and, and then not represent hate groups that are adamantly against your advancement and progressions as a people, all right? With that being said, Kanye, what the fuck you doing, man? <laughs> Steve, man, you know way better than them, man. You know what I'm saying? Jim Brown, really? Martin Luther King, man, this your goddamn daddy. Birthday, bro. You gonna go and sit down with, hey, man, divide and conquer, bro. You know what I mean? With a lynch. Read up on it. Don't be a part of it. Be against it. Right. And uh, T.I. is right, man. That's all they're doing is dividing and trying to conquer, man. Because right now, we are a house divided, man. You know, with the black, Latino, the American community, we are divided, man. But um, I'm going to bring out a couple scriptures before I end this. Um, this is Ezekiel chapter 13, verse... Uh, I'll start at the top. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying... This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 13. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say unto them... And say thou unto them... That prophesied out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord Yahweh. Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the fox in the desert. Alright. It says, it says that the prophets are like the prophets, they're like the fox in the dirt. And what is a fox? A fox is, you know, you call somebody fox like, like oh you fox. It's basically calling like you sneaky. You 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 uh what's another word for it? You um you like you being sly, like you a sly fox. You 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 being deceitful, basically. Yeah, you being deceitful, man. All right. If it's verse five, ye have not gone up into the gates, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the uh stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. Right? Because they're not going up to the um they're not they're not standing up for they're not standing up for righteousness for the house of Israel. All right. They have seen vanity. Right. This is all vanity. They have seen vanity and lying divin divination, right? Because this, oh, this whole makeup of America is the lying divination, man. Saying that Trump is going to uh, actually try to help out the black Latino American community, man. You see what they're still doing over there in North Dakota, man. Trump ain't saying nothing about how he's going to stop that. You see what's going on in Chirac. You see so Trump ain't saying nothing about that. Uh, Steve Harvey said he had a great conversation with him. He ain't saying nothing about uh, stopping the killings of the black Latino Americans on these streets in the United States, man. All right? The Lord said it. The Lord said it, and the Lord have not, the Lord, the Lord, oh, slack it, verse 6, and they have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, the Lord said it, and the Lord have not sent them, and they have made, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word, right, that's what they do, they send these other coons out there to confirm it, man, have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination, whereas ye say, the Lord said it, albeit I have not spoken, Therefore, thus says the Lord, Yahweh, 
because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies, therefore behold, I am against you, says the Lord, right? The Lord is against all you niggas out there who's trying to hold hand in hand and walk with these so-called Edomites. Not so-called, the so-called white people, the true Edomites, man. The Lord is against you, all right? And my hand shall be upon the prophets that seen vanity. And that goes also with you pastors, man. You see what happened to Eddie uh, Homo Long? The Lord got rid of this nasty ass, man, all right? They shall not be an assembly of my people, neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel, neither shall they enter into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh, because, because, even because they have seduced my people, saying peace, right, that's what they're saying, that's what they're basically doing up here, man, they're trying to tell us peace, man, because what the scriptures say, when they say, when they shall say peace, peace, suddenly utter destruction will come, man, because as long as you're pushing this peace, Bullshit to our people They're going to be hoping for peace man You see what happened with uh, Obama you, that, That's what he was talking about Was change in, in peace man And what happened yo Mad people started dying Chirac Police killings A lot of this stuff happened You people still out here blinded With this peace milk man Stop drinking that peace juice We are not in the time of peace man We are in the time of war Jacob's trouble is brewing man And these elites they're, 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 they're coming up with agendas To push this Jacob's trouble upon y'all asses man And Trump is going to be the fourth figure of this thing man Alright Because even because they have seduced my people Saying peace And we're in our, and majority of our nation is seduced by this peace bullshit man Because you got niggas on the street saying Oh we, we can't be out here talking about hate We got to love our enemies You know the, 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 when the scripture says love your enemies Talking about people of your own nation man Love your brother, meaning people that look like you of your same nation, man. Not these Edomites, not these other nations, man, because guess what? They don't love you, all right? Seduce my people saying peace, and there was no peace. There is no peace out here for you so-called black or two Americans. And one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. And you know Trump is going to build that wall, man, all right? So, I keep going, man, it's fact. Say unto them, but daubed it with unto a mortar, that it shall it shall fall. And how is it going to we're going to get into it? There shall be an overflowing shower that from thermonuclear missiles, and yeah, old gray hailstones. That's the fire from the chariot shall fall, and a stormy wind. That's that blasting wind. That stormy wind shall rend it. Means rip it down. Lo, when the wall is falling, shall it not be said unto you, Where is that daubing wherewith ye have daubed it? Right, because you know. America, these, these Edomites, man, they think precious America is going to last forever, man. But the Lord's going to destroy his place within an hour. All right? Therefore, as thus says the Lord, Yahweh, I will even rend it, rip it, rip it apart with a stormy wind, that, that blasting wind, in my fury, the Lord's indignation. And there should be an overflowing shower in my anger, the ICB missiles and the fire from the chariots, great hailstone in my fury to consume it. And now break down the wall that ye have dubbed with untempered mortar. Mor that's that wall Trump's going to build and bring it down to the ground so that the foundation that us shall be discovered and it shall fall and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Right, because the Lord's going to show, he's going to show his works, man, here in America, man. And especially to you two-thirds, man, because y'all want to see and put y'all trust in your enemies. The Lord's going to show his wrath and fury to y'all, man. And y'all going to know that Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah is the one and only Lord, man. He's your only one king. He's your only one president, man. All right? Thus will I accomplish my wrath upon the wall and upon them that dubbed it with untippered martyr. And will say unto you, the wall is no more, neither they that dubbed it. To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied concerning Jerusalem, which is a people for its a place, and would see visions of, of peace for her, and there is no peace, says the Lord Yahweh. All right, because right now we're in the time of peace. Until Yahweh Shai come back and deliver the nation of Israel and put us in our and put us in our righteous land, that's when we're gonna be in peace. But until then, we at war, man. All right. From there, we get Isaiah, the ninth chapter. And uh, this is the 16th verse. Now, in fact, I'm going to start at 13. This is Isaiah chapter 9 and 13. For the people turneth not unto him that smitten them, neither do they seek the Lord of hosts. Right? The people don't turn back unto the Lord, man. The Lord is the reason why we're in this predicament, man. Because we went off from his law, statute, commandments. And it says the people turn not back to him, that turn not unto him that, that did this to him. All right? That did this to them. All right? Therefore, the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail. 
branch and rush in one day. All right. When it said head and tail, it means the leaders, man. We right now we don't have a leader, man. We we got we got these foolish people out here, that that uh that that lead us astray. Tell us uh. Uh, peace and safety. Tell us that um yeah we're working our plans with the uh uh uh, uh president elect to help the black and uh, Latino community, which is all fucking lies, man. All right. Uh, keep reading. I read it again. Therefore, the Lord will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. The ancient and the honorable it the ancient and honorable. He is the head and the prophet that teaches lies to tell. Right, because our, our actual real leaders has been cut off. And now the tales of our people, or these people out here, the leaders of our people out here, um, uh, uh, feeding us lies, man. All right? For the leaders of this people cause them to err. Right? You got the leaders of our people causing us to sin against the Most High, man. Because, you know, first and foremost, we putting our trust into our, the enemies, man. Instead of uh, instead of putting our trust in Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is pissed off about that. Because he's telling us to repent, man. He got his prophets out, his real prophets, men that actually serve the Lord in fear and trembling and keep the law of his commandments, telling you people to turn back to the Lord. Not to trust in the government, not to trust in these bullshit-ass leaders out here, to turn back to the Lord, keep his law of commandments, hear the words of him, all right? So I'm going to read that again and I'm going to close with that. Matter of fact, I, 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 yeah, I'll just close there. This is verse 16 again. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. Meaning causing them to go off. And they that are led of them are destroyed. And that's our people, man. Our people are destroyed because they want to trust in our, their enemies, man. Trust in these coons like Steve Harvey, Ray Lewis, Jim Brown, and Kanye West, and the, and the likes of their asses, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to close out. Once again, I'll give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, and citations to your elect out there pushing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.